everyone, welcome to another episode of Pinterest Designs. I'm back this week. Unfortunately, last week I didn't get to make a video. I had a work training conference. Um, but this week I'm bringing you a really cool idea. If you have ever heard of string art, uh, that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing it in the shape of Minnesota, because that's where I live. Um, but you could do any shape and any state you wanted to. Uh, I, like always, I'll put the link to the pin that I'm kind of looking at below. But these are everywhere, all over Pinterest. So go ahead and look at all the different examples out there. So here are all the supplies you will need for this project. Once again, I went to Michael's. It's like my favorite store. Um, for my wood, I got this natural looking slice of a tree kind of. If you look on here, it is basswood, country, round, large. There were lots of different sizes. Um, this was, I believe, $10.99. But I've seen people use uh, just old pieces of wood, uh, any scraps so you can make this pretty cheap but I kind of liked this look here. I went ahead and printed out the outline of Minnesota or go ahead and do any state or shape of your choice. I've seen some people cut out the outlines and then actually put the nails you know right on the outside of the paper but then I've also seen some people um, just place their paper on top of the wood they're working with and actually just nail right in through the paper and then you can peel the paper off when you're done. So I think that's the route I'm gonna go. Sounds a little bit easier. Um, the nails that I got are actually black. Um, 16 gauge, one inch panel nails. I don't know, I just got the ones that looked to be uh, the right size. And then the string that I got is this kind of dark burgundy red. Um, you wanna make sure it is pretty thin. Um, or thicker depending on the look that you're going for. I just thought uh, this is going to be a nice kind of on the natural wood, black nails, dark red string, and of course I have my hammer. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out where on your wood you want it positioned. I chose this side, I think it looks nice on top there. And I've actually decided that I'm going to cut out the outline just a little bit just so I can see um, where I'm working a little bit better. All right, that looks good. Now I'm just gonna start nailing away. So I'm gonna nail down um, the corners first, I think. What I'm gonna do next is you've probably seen them with like a little heart in the Twin Cities area. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. So because the Twin Cities in Minnesota is so close to the border, I'm gonna go ahead and cheat in a little bit just so I can have room between the heart and the outline to string as well. Um, let's see. But you'll still be able to tell that it's the Twin Cities. There we go, now I have an outline to nail around. And I'm going to do these pretty close together. All right, so that took a long time. <laughs> um, now what I'm going to do is just peel off or rip off the paper. So this is what it looks like with all the nails. Took the paper off. Um, I think it turned out really well. There's my heart for the Twin Cities. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the string here. I'm going to tie it um, wherever I'm going to start, probably in the corner here. I'm going to tie it to the first nail and then I'm going to wrap it around, string it to the heart, uh, choose whichever nail kind of matches up here wrap it around and then go back to the next nail and just continue going back and forth that way. So I'm gonna tie the string onto this first nail here. Um, I think a double knot will do. Make sure it just doesn't come off. One more for good measure, I don't know, a triple knot. There we go. And then I'll cut um, the tail off 
later, but I want to just make sure it doesn't come off of that nail. And then um, what I'm going to do is kind of decide where I want to start at. And I think probably in the middle of the side here, because all these down at the bottom will be going to those ones. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead, wrap it around here. So I don't want to make it too tight so the nails bend or whatever. Um, but yeah, just strung it around the nail. And I'm going to come back to this one. So I'm just um, finishing tying the knot. And yay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Yay, completed project. I think it turned out awesome. Um, yeah, I think it turned out nice. Um, I ended up even skipping some nails, like up here. Um, these like four on the side I didn't even do. Otherwise it would have been really bunched up right there. Um, this little area was kind of tough. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I got some strings around there. And then up here, because Minnesota has this funky little corner, instead of um, connecting from these nails all the way back to the heart, I just went across and connected it to the nail that was directly across from it. There we go. Thanks for watching this episode of Pinterest Designs. Make sure to subscribe and thumbs up and all that fun stuff. And I will catch you guys next week.